Hey there, I'm Jen, and today we're gonna to take a closer look at the Risha Touloun 2 women's jacket. All right, so Kelly joins me today, and right now she's wearing the Risha Touloun 2 women's riding jacket. Now, first glance, you can see that this jacket is definitely retro-inspired. I see a lot of cafe racers and cruiser riders out there really gravitating towards this fashion. But it's not just a styling exercise. Arisha's really gone in and added some great protective features to this jacket, such as meeting CEAA abrasion resistance rating and a full complement of body armor, pricing in around $450. Now, some notes about sizing. Kelly here is five foot nine, weighs in at 140 pounds, and has a 36 bust. And right now she's wearing a size 40. When we looked at the sizing chart, it did recommend a size 38 for her. So what we would say here is we recommend you go ahead and size one up from the size you would normally wear. Now do keep in mind that this product will ship to you for free. And as always, our price match policies in place to guarantee you the lowest price available. All right, so this is the fun part of the video where we talk about all the specs and features of this jacket. Starting up top, something that really stands out to me is this removable hoodie. I do want to say that this is just the hoodie alone. It is not a full liner. We're going to see more of that when we open the jacket and later in the video. Moving on down into the collar, it is the typical button closure. Uh, Risha did include, however, a little neoprene uh, soft touch liner here for all day comfort when you're riding in this jacket. Moving on down into the front zipper, it's the usual YKK zipper with a nice little leather zipper pull here. And down at the bottom, you're going to see your traditional two zipper pockets and either their side of this jacket. Uh, this is the point where I want to talk about this leather a little bit more. It is a 1.1 millimeter uh, full grain cowhide leather. It has a great feel to it. It's very supple and buttery and it has some distressing happening on it and that's by choice. You know, Risha really again wanted to lean in hard on that kind of vintage inspired look of this jacket and you're going to notice some distressing uh, happening throughout the jacket. So you're not crazy. We didn't send you a worn jacket. It is from the factory built to look that way. Uh, one little thing that throws me off on, on this kind of vintage vibe is the D3O tag, bright orange tag over here. Uh, it is a good indicator that we've got a lot of exciting things to talk about when it comes to the armor of this jacket, but on the uh, general look of the jacket is just a little jarring. So perhaps in future iterations, we could kind of hide that tag somewhere else. Um, but let's go ahead and talk about that armor. So this jacket has a full complement of D3O armor. I'm talking about in the shoulder and the elbow, and we're gonna see more on the back when we turn around. But again, uh, super soft, malleable, and it's, as it warms up with your body temp, it's gonna give you a lot of movement. Uh, Kelly, if you could turn to the side and go in the riding position for us. All right, so here in the riding position, we could get a good look at the side torso of the jacket. You're gonna see the stretch panel here. I would prefer to see just a, another inch or two on that stretch paneling. It's gonna help the jacket adapt to a couple more body types if we had a little bit more expansion there. There is a, a snap closure here at the bottom if you wanna go ahead and adjust the fit of the hem of the jacket. Also wanna point up up here, uh, kind of one of the cool like retro styling features of the jacket is the shoulder gusset. Uh, again, has that classic biker vibe to it. And then moving along, the sleeve, I just want to point out that this jacket has a very neutral cut to it. It's not super sporty with an aggressive pre-curve to the sleeve or anything. It is definitely suited for that more standard riding position. One last call out while we're here on the sleeve. This white stripe here, again, when you get it out of the box, it's going to look a little uh, worn. It's not going to be perfectly white. Again, that is by design. Kelly, if you could face back for us, please. All right, so on the back here, some, some more features to go through. This is the removable hoodie, of course, and just beneath it is a very subtle, you know, black on black Risha logo, and it does have a little reflective pop around it. So if you want a little bit of visibility on the back side of this jacket, you could pop off that hoodie and that, uh, that uh, logo is gonna pop when you shine a light on it. Um, into the back here, this is a huge value add for this jacket to come with the D3O back protector, especially at that price point. You don't have to worry about looking for one that's gonna fit in the jacket, it comes with it. So again, uh, a little nod of the, a little tip of the cap, Teresha, for going ahead and including that in this jacket. Um, and while we're here on the backside view, again, I want to talk about that shoulder gusset, really cool biker style, and then down at the bottom, that accent stitching to kind of just like tie in all of that retro styling. Kelly, if you could face forward for us and go ahead and unzip the jacket. So as Kelly's unzipping the jacket here, I'm gonna talk a little bit about, uh, one of my nitpicks of the jacket is that it's not very adaptable to all the different seasons. Uh, there's no vented uh, zipper vents to open up. There's no perforation. And again, you have this zip out hoodie, but you don't have a full hoodie liner. So there's no liner in here. So this jacket's really gonna be best suited for your mild seasons of riding. I'm talking springtime and fall time, not best suited for the really hot or the really cold uh, riding you might encounter on the road. 
Um, but just looking at the inside of this jacket, you know, I'm, I'm a fan of the, the flannel pattern in here. It just gives it a little bit more of a premium feel. You do have an easy access Napoleon pocket here for uh, some of your important items. A typical stash pocket on the other side. And it does have a connection zipper if you want to choose to uh, connect this to a pair of pants. All right, Kelly, you could go ahead and zip up for us. All right, so that's the long and short of it. This, again, is the Risha Tulum 2 Women's Riding Jacket. Retro-inspired, gonna be a favorite with you cafe racers and cruisers out there. Again, full complement of body armor, meeting CEAA abrasion resistance. Now, if you have more questions, you can hit the info button on your desktop or mobile device. It'll redirect you to the product page where you can see more product features and read some reviews from writers like yourself. If you have even more questions, you can give our customer service a call, and they're going to be really helpful in helping you find a riding jacket that best suits your riding style. All right, well, thanks for hanging out with Kelly and I as we take a closer look at the Risha Tulum 2 Women's Riding Jacket. I'm Jen. Keep it on, too.